Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. Today, let's take an up close and personal of this 2005 Suzuki Carry Pickup 4x2 Lift Up Single Cab. In this video, I will take this vehicle for a startup, taking an exhaust clip and full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here is the key, so let's go ahead and get started. The 9th generation Suzuki Carry has featured with a two-spoke steering wheel design which is made up with a urethane material. The Carry does get a 4-speed manual gearbox. To put your car into reverse, just push the lever all the way to the right and down. Alright, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights, high beam, and hazards. All two windows on this truck are fully manual, so leave the engine running on and let's take a look at the exterior. This carry receives a 13-inch alloys that has a tires measurement of 135-80R13. Brakes consist of ventilated disc brakes in front while the rear gets drum brakes. As for the suspension, the front gets McPherson struts while the rear gets leaf springs. The Suzuki carry is a K-truck or mini-truck produced by Suzuki since its first production in 1961. On its first introduction, the first carry was commonly known as the Suzulite carry with its codename FBD. At that time, there are different body styles that everyone get, which is the van body style and the pickup body style. The carry has a configuration of a mid-engine bay with a small bonnet. The carry van is an original minivan version of the carry that was in a production until 1982 when it replaces the name into Suzuki Every. So far, the Suzuki Carry has produced 11 generations. This carry that was shown in the video is part of the 9th generation that was originally produced between 1991 until 1999 with its codename DC-DD51T for trucks while DE-DF51T for vans. In the Philippines, the 9th generation carry is still in the production today's present time together with the 8th generation and the 10th generation in terms of reliability and versatility. 
It can be considered as a surplus vehicle or maybe a brand new vehicle. We Filipinos call this K-Truck a so-called multicab. This vehicle is produced in the Philippines and sold nationwide. It is probably the most affordable vehicles in the Philippines compared to other vehicles which may cost less than by a half a million pesos. Suzuki Philippines launches the all-new Carry which is commonly known as the Suzuki Super Carry commercial vehicle way back 2016. It is powered by a 0.8 liter turbo diesel inline 2 engine that generates 32 horsepower and 75 newton meters of torque. It may not be the fastest pickup truck on the market but it can be usable for some business related process. There is not much in terms of safety but it does have 3 point ELR seat belts. Exterior features for the Suzuki Carry includes halogen projector headlights on the reflector lens, indicators on the lower bumper, front bumper guard, urethane accented side mirror caps, body color door handles, projector taillights, and rear step metal bars. As you found on the driver's door panel, it's very simple. Obviously, you found door grip handle, window control, and interior door handle. The same also on the passenger side. To open up the engine bay under the seat, first you have to remove the seat back, and then remove the seat base up. The Suzuki Carry has powered by an F6A, 660 cubic centimeters, single overhead cam, 12 valve, 3 cylinder carbureted petrol engine that generates 42 horsepower with a maximum rev of 5500 rpm and 57 newton meters of torque with a maximum rev of 4500 rpm. Fuel tank capacity takes 36 liters with the emission rating of Euro 2. The drivetrain of this carry is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Alright, so let's see how it sounds. All right, so let's start it up.
with the door closed. As shown earlier, your parking brake. Indicator controls and your yeah, light controls. Yeah. Your handles on the A pillar, sun visor. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, cabin lights, alright, I guess that's it for the startup, we can turn it off right now. And let's continue with the rest of the tour. There are three individual tailgates for this skate truck. Two tailgates can be located on each side while the one is in the back. Since it's fitted with an extended roof bar with windows, the rear cargo bed tailgate is functional. The cargo bed measures 1,981 mm in length, 1,224 mm in width, and 660 mm in height respectively with a capacity of 770 pounds. Payload capacity measures 1300 pounds with a towing capacity of 1500 pounds. The bed liner and extended roof bar with windows are standard. Plus, there are two seats are facing each other like in a typical jeepney that has a maximum capacity of 4 or 6 persons in total and these seats at the cargo bed is standard as well. To close the tailgate, first you have to lift the tailgate up and then lock those two latches in place.
unlike the driver's seat, the passenger seat is removable as well by using this lever right here to open up. Very limited amount of space of the glove box. <clears throat> no sun visor. Well guys, I hope that's it of our startup and full walk around review of this 2005 Suzuki Carry Pickup 4x2 Lift Up Single Cab. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I will see you next time with 4 more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and mabuhay!